What's up guys? It is Julian from YouTube Bear, bringing you guys another video. And in today's video, uh, I am doing sort of a different kind of video. It's a continuation of a video I did at the beginning of this year or last year on uh, back to school tech or uh, back to school tech backpacks. And in that video, I basically reviewed some cool tech deals you could use to assemble a tech deal for a certain budget. But on this channel, I've never really used, reviewed the gear I use or the tech bag that I carry around when I go out in public or on the go and stuff like that. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. Now, uh, before we get started, um, this is the backpack uh, I'm going to be using, or I have been using for the last couple months. It is a, an Element backpack. Uh, it's meant more for skateboarding and maybe school use, but it gets the job done. I don't maybe highly recommend it for a tech bag, but that does not to say it's not a good backpack. I've had it for many years and it does everything that I need to do. So it's a very good backpack. Uh, it's just been a little worn and I haven't had the need to get a new one yet. So that's why I'm using that. But um, if I really need to go smaller, I fit everything that's in this bag, or most everything in this bag, into this uh, HP bag, top bag. So I can just throw it on my back. You know? Kind of like that. And it's kind of easy to carry around. So just keep that in mind. But uh, without further ado, let's actually get started to what's in this bag. Um, so let's start with the side pockets first, I think. Uh, in this side pocket right here, um, I have a 20,000 milliamp hour battery. I've actually done a partial review on this uh, battery bank. It's by PNY. Uh, that was in my Huawei Honor 5X review video. Check that out in the link in the description below. Um, but yeah, this is a very good uh, power bank. It's got a display, shows you uh, your uh, battery percentage on the battery and if it's charging in or out. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, flip this bag to the other side, we've got this other pocket right here, if I can find the zipper for it. Uh, How is my uh, external hard drive? This is a 500 gigabyte uh, click-free automatic backup external hard drive. I don't really use external hard drives too much, but uh, that's the external hard drive I have. I probably picked it up, I think I picked it up somewhere for like 20 bucks. Uh, I'm not going to list that one down below, but I will list uh, a good uh, hard drive, like external hard drive down below if you guys want to pick one up. This is just what I've been using again because I haven't needed to buy a new one. Let's look at what we have in this top pocket here. Now, I keep for just, you know, plug-in for just, you know, a headphone use. Uh, I don't usually use these too much because I have other headphones in this bag that I use more than these. Um, but these are iWorld uh, just Bluetooth headphones, and they are the the backup, backup, backup if I really don't have juice. They're like eight bucks at Walmart. Again, I'm not gonna link them down below, but I will link better alternatives to some, you know, same style headphones, wireless earbuds that work much better than those because honestly, they're not very good. I just needed a pair of wireless earbuds at the time, and I've kept them around since then because they make good backups. And um, in this pocket right here at the front, right here, if we unzip it, um, I don't know if you guys can see all the cat hair on this, but there's a lot of hair on this bag. Just don't mind it. I'm sorry, I didn't have a lip roller. But in this pocket, I keep my uh, adaptive fast charging USB cable and power adapter for my phone or phones, depending on what I carry for the day. Uh, I only have one micro USB in this bag right now, but where I'm living right now, micro USBs don't really last a lot. I have one for my computer, one for my phone, and that's really all I need. So I'm going to buy more once I'm moving into the new space, but for right now, one is really all I need. Now, finally, moving into the big uh, pocket here, what I carry up here, uh, we'll get into in a second. Because I forgot, I still do have stuff in this top pocket here. Um, and this, also in this top pocket here, I have this uh, unique little gadget here that I bought from uh, a store. Uh, I don't know really where you can get one, this is kind of unique to, to me. Uh, it was only a dollar, it's like a pocket screwdriver, and the screwdrivers come out kind of like the old cookie pens that you clicked and the pen came out, like, almost like uh, out the front knives or something. But uh, it's really cool, it has locks, and I think this is a really, really useful utensil for computer building and all that stuff. Uh, an iFixit kit would uh, be a better substitution, but I'm too broke for one of those. So that's what I use instead. And um, to replace these headphones, like what I usually use if I need wireless earbuds, are the LG HBS uh, Bluetooth headphones, I think they are. Sorry, truck going by. But um, 
These are the LG HBS uh, Bluetooth wireless earbuds, and they sound really good. They partnered with JBL to make these uh, headphones, and I think they sound really good. Uh, let me know in the description below if you want me to do a review on these. Uh, I actually think I have a video that I did a long time ago where I actually reviewed these guys or at least got the footage for it and I kind of want to make it into a video so let me know if you'd like to see that video down in the description below. But yeah, that's what I use for wireless earbuds uh, instead of iWorlds. Like I said, the iWorlds are the most, most backup. Now, when I need more sound and when I'm editing or when I need just noise cancellation and I'm trying to zone out or edit, I use the Sony MDR XB950 BTs and they are a great wireless uh, pair of wireless headphones that sound great, probably the best bass I've ever had out of any pair of headphones. And I got them for a pretty good deal, uh, but online you can get these guys for probably around 100, even less than 100 now because the N1s, their successor, just came out. So yeah, these are still a really good deal though, and they're pretty good price, and they're Bluetooth. And they also have an inline cable if you don't have a Bluetooth enabled device or you need to run off uh, wired power because the battery's dead. But the battery lasts about 20 hours, so these guys are pretty good. I didn't do a full-blown review on these guys, but I think I did a comparison video or something on these guys. If you want to see a review, also tell me in the description below. But uh, yeah, these are pretty good pair of headphones. Uh, next on my list, I'll just say the portable speaker first. Uh, this little portable speaker is just a little iHome speaker. It's $5. It used to fold up and, and you know store away like this, if, if you guys can see that but it doesn't anymore, it kind of broke. I've had this guy a while, and basically this is just my throw in the bag, you know, pull out whatever Bluetooth speaker, and it lights up when you turn it on like that. As you can see, the different colors. It's it's basically a, a JBL Mini, not made by JBL. Uh, pretty cool speaker though, and I still use it. It's got pretty good sound. If you want to see a review on it, even though it's only like 20 bucks and it's an iHome, and you could probably do much better for the price, let me know in the description below and I will do a review on it. Now, a product that I am going to be doing a review on soon is the JBL Pulse 2. And uh, the JBL Pulse 2 is my latest speaker investment. It's a little bit old now that I should be coming out with the JBL Pulse 3, but you can get them for like 100 to 125 dollars. So still worth the price, I think. And it's just beautiful, like look at that. I've been using it for some of the aesthetics in my uh, videos and my face cams, if you guys have noticed or not. But yeah, once it pairs up, it's just it's just beautiful. You got, you got this, this color and all this, and you can configure it through the Bluetooth app. It's really cool. Uh, review coming soon. Let me know if you guys uh, are excited to see that. Now, uh, like I mentioned before, my Archon tripod is my main tripod for filming and stuff. But when I want to do more vlog style videos, my dad actually bought this for me the other day. And I thought I'd uh, show it off because I'm sure everyone has a, uh, a selfie stick. Gotta, gotta carry one of those on. You can't go anywhere without a selfie stick. They're not, they're not, you know, very useful as a selfie stick, but once you use them as like a portable tripod or like a vlogging tripod, they get pretty useful. Um, is that, is that it? Oh, no, we still have one thing in this little utmost pocket here that I forgot to uh, show you before we get to the main main dish of this bag. Uh, I have an Amir uh, lens kit here, and basically what this is is a lens kit for your smartphone, so you can capture more wide angle shots, because this is the wide angle lens. It comes with a macro lens, and it also comes with a fisheye lens, so you can get some of that fisheye effect. Uh, there's three lenses, but the fisheye lens and the mac and the fisheye lens, and I think the macro lens go together and then they attach to the wide angle lens. It's something like that. If you want me to do a review on it, uh, let me know in the description below. Uh, it works pretty well. I wouldn't say you would really need it if you have a mo more modern smartphone, but it really, really did help me when I had a smartphone like the uh, Huawei Honor 5X uh, to just really bump up the quality of videos and help me out. So I still do use this sometimes, but not nearly as much, but uh, it's pretty useful. Um, this is the other lens right here, the one that uh, you don't have to attach or whatever, but that's right there. Um, and the other thing I keep in this bag is a Sony clip mic in case I want to do some portable audio. Now, the thing about this clip mic, the reason I'm probably not, the reason I'm not using it right now is because when I bought it, I did not realize this is one that had to get hooked up to a portable recorder or a desktop PC. Uh, it's a great mic. It sounds great, almost as good as my Blue Snowball but I can't use it through my smartphone and I didn't even realize that when I bought it. It's still a great mic and I use it sometimes, but usually when I'm hooking up to my laptop or my computer. But it's still a great one. I'm thinking about getting another one that you can record with your smartphone. I will try and find one and link it down below. 
And I will also link this one down below if you'd like to check this clip mic out too, because it's a pretty cool little clip mic. Uh, it, uh, it sounds pretty good for the price. It was only like 20 bucks. And finally, for the last thing in this bag is uh, a laptop, because what's a tech bag without a laptop? Now, normally I'd be showing you my Sony Bio. That's the laptop I've been rolling with for the last couple years, actually. But um, I just bought this new HP 15-inch touchscreen notebook because I'm going to need something better for college. And so far, what I've used out of it, it's a pretty good laptop for the price. It sits around like $350 to $400. Uh, it's a pretty good laptop for the price. It's got good build feeling, kind of gives me uh, the, the MacBook feel because of the silver and everything, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. I'm a Windows user, personally, but I still kind of get the Mac feel. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It, uh, it, does, it does everything I really needed to do for what I do, uh, and I think it might uh, serve you guys a uh, good purpose too. So I'll drop that link uh, down in the description below. Review is coming soon, so stay tuned for that. But yeah guys, that's basically everything I carry in my tech bag. It's no your average consumer tech bag. That guy can turn a tech bag video into like a 28 minute video. But this is basically the portable gear that I've acquired over the last couple months and I'm gonna continue building this bag and making it better and maybe do more updates on it if you guys like this kind of content. But I thought I'd bring you kind of like a starting point of what I carry in my bag. So if you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Want to see more like it, also like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. So stay tuned.